Hello and welcome back everyone. The olfactory nerve is the first cranial nerve among the 12 cranial nerves. It is a pure sensory nerve that enables one sense of smell, taking those senses from the nose and relaying it to the specific areas of the brain. There are three important structures that are involved in carrying the sense of smell. It all starts from the olfactory hairs which detect the smell, the olfactory nerve fibers that carry the sense and the olfactory bulb that is the end point. The olfactory bulb ultimately relays this information to the specific areas of the brain. Let me explain this a little further. It all starts when our nose receives the sense of smell. This sense is first received by a structure known as the olfactory hairs. The olfactory hairs are minute hair-like projections present on the surface of the mucous membrane, which lines inside of our nose. These cilia-like hairs basically detect the various odors and stimulate the olfactory cells, which are present beneath the olfactory hairs. This also makes up the starting point of the olfactory nerve. These senses, which are received by the olfactory cells, are then relayed to the main olfactory bulb located at the underside of the brain. This sense from the olfactory cells to the olfactory bulb is carried through the olfactory nerve fibers, which are fine central processes passing through the openings of the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. The ethmoid bone is simply the bone that makes up the roof of the nasal cavity and it has small openings in it. These areas of small openings or pores are known as the cribriform plate through which the olfactory nerve fibers travel to the olfactory bulb. The olfactory bulb is a paired rounded mass of tissue located just above the nasal cavity on each side of the nose. It is basically a collection of the multiple different nerve cells, the largest of which are known as the mitral cells, with some smaller cells such as tufted cells and granular cells also being present. These cells present inside the bulb then synapse with the incoming olfactory nerve fibers to receive the sensory information which is then conveyed to the olfactory areas of the cerebral cortex via the olfactory tract. The olfactory tract is a narrow band of white matter which runs from the posterior end of the olfactory bulb towards the olfactory area of the cerebral cortex which are named as the periamygdaloid area and the preperiform area. The olfactory tract continues to move further posteriorly through the brain reaching a structure known as the anterior perforated substance which is a triangular part of the gray matter of the brain. Once it is there, the tract then divides into medial and lateral roots, with the lateral going all the way up to the olfactory area of the cerebral cortex and the medial root acting as a connecting link between the olfactory bulbs of each side. Concluding the olfactory nerve, lastly we have two types of olfactory areas which are different parts of the brain involved in olfactory sensations. Here we have the primary olfactory cortex which basically constitutes the periamygdaloid area and the pre-preform area as I explained earlier. Then there is the secondary olfactory cortex which subsequently receives numerous connections from the primary olfactory cortex. Both of these olfactory cortices are responsible for the appreciation of the sense of smell. One important detail I would like to point out is that the olfactory nerve pathway is the only sensory pathway which has no second order neurons. This means we typically have three neurons with the first order neuron at the particular receptor area for example in the case of olfactory nerve it is the nose, second order neuron in the thalamus and then the third order neuron in the specific area of the brain. Which again in the case of olfactory nerve is the olfactory cortex. The olfactory nerve is unique such that it only has two neurons that are the first order and the third order neurons which reach the cerebral cortex without synapsing in the thalamus and hence the second order neurons are absent in the olfactory nerve. So this was a short overview on the olfactory nerve. So I hope this video was helpful to all of you. I will meet you all next time in my next video. Till then take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Stay safe and goodbye.